introduction to computer vision in agriculture. Looking at my favorite topic in the whole wide world, computer vision. It plays an indispensable role in modern agriculture, particularly for tasks like real-time soil analysis, crop monitoring, as well as livestock management. So this technology provides an extra set of eyes for automation, which enhances productivity and efficiency. First up, we have image classification. So these algorithms are trained to categorize images into different classes. For instance, they can differentiate between healthy and diseased crops, providing critical data for farmers to take timely actions. Then my favorite, object detection. And this involves not only recognizing objects within an image, but also providing their location within the scene. This is crucial for tasks like identifying and counting the number of fruits on a tree. So when it comes to popular models, there's YOLO V8 and YOLO NAS, as well as the more recent Gold YOLO, which are the state-of-the-art choices for real-time object detection. There's also object segmentation, which involves classifying each pixel in an image, which is valuable for precision farming. For a much better example, you might need to distinguish between different types of vegetation from soil. UNET is a commonly used model for biomedical applications, but can also be used in this setting. And that is amongst other models like DeepLab V3. Surprisingly, newer versions of YOLO like YOLO V7 and V8 can also handle these tasks. And if you haven't already, at Augmented Startups, we have comprehensive courses on the aforementioned technologies like YOLO V3 to V8 as well as UNET. Then there's SAM, the segment anything model. So SAM from Meta, I think is very cool, mainly because it introduces a novel approach offering zero shot, promptable segmentation. So what's really exciting about SAM is that it eliminates the need for complex polygon annotations. So you can simply provide a bounding box from this point to that point during inference, and SAM will output a precise segmentation mass. Pretty cool, right? So this dramatically simplifies the segmentation process. So depth has a unique role, especially in tasks that involve movement and navigation. It's vital for automating machinery like tractors and drones, ensuring that they can accurately gauge the distance between objects and move efficiently in a 3D space. So we've used depth perception on our Raspberry Pi drone project that uses the OpenCV AI kit or OD cameras that provides AI depth perception. I'll have all of the links down to that if you'd like to check it out. 